Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I want to do a review on this Oster toaster. It's a four, takes four slices of bread, and it's pretty, got these really nice controls on the front. But the one thing I like about it is, is so it's, you get this extra lift. So when your toast pops up, normally sometimes you have to reach in there and kind of grab it a little bit. But if you push up on this, it lifts it up just a little higher to keep you out of that hot area in there. And another feature, it's got toast, bagel, frozen, and warm. Now you don't select these before you put it in, see nothing happens. So you gotta put your toast in, then that starts it, then you can change it to bagel, frozen, or warm. And I'm gonna show you each one of those. Even and then what's also nice about this is, is so it's cut in half. I've got a knob and I can de determine what I wanna do on this on these two and then another person can determine what they want to do on their two and of course we've got ours set on different settings you know I like my toast a little bit darker so that works out really nice okay so I've got this side set on toast and I've got this side set on bagel just something to keep in mind so there's a lot of hot air coming out above this so be really careful you know the sides don't get super hot but just be really careful around these and don't ever stick anything metal in there because it shorts them out just really quick okay so at first i thought when this side was on bagel setting i don't know why i always thought but i always thought maybe the outside burners didn't um, turn on and only the inside so that you put your bagel in so it really doesn't matter how you put your bagel in all the burners come on on the bagel side just like the toast side and as far as I can see, the only difference is, is time. So it turns them on the same amount, the heating elements, but your time is, so even a three on toast and a three on bagel, the three on bagel is gonna be longer. So they just consider the bagel thicker and, and harder to toast. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain this frozen button. The frozen only works with the toast setting. And so it's if you've got frozen eggos or waffles, so what it's gonna do, it's gonna heat it up gradually first, and then it's gonna start the process of actually cooking it. So again, you just put, put it in, put it down, we're gonna hit the frozen button. The toast light stays lit, you can't select bagel. So there the frozen light. So what it is, is the heating element's gonna heat up, and then it's gonna actually cook it. So as you can see inside a toaster, those are the, the heating element actually glows red, and that's normal. And they're getting really, really hot. Okay, now I'm gonna explain this last button. It's called warm. And that again, that only works with the toaster. So if you wanna put a piece of bread in there, and we're gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna put a piece of bread. Got my bread in there. I'm gonna put it down. I'm just gonna hit the warm button. And supposedly, I've never really used this, but it'll warm the bread, but it won't actually toast it. And again, the cancel button's really nice. So say you put it in, say you start to smell burning or something, you really can't lift the lever. The lever's kind of, it's tight, and you'll kind of break it. You've got to hit this cancel button. Once you hit the cancel button, it just pops it right up. Okay, so it just finished the warm. Again, you can lift it up. It lifts the toast actually a little higher. But it actually just warmed it. It didn't toast it. It's really warm, actually, but it's not toasted. Okay, so I'm going to toast some bread. I've got the bread in there. You want to make sure that side's up just so it's easier to grab and i'm gonna i've got it on three three is about the right number so i'm just gonna push it down it automatically is on toast and i'm not gonna do anything just gonna sit here and watch it okay so i got the toast going on this side on this side i'm gonna do a bagel and again i don't think it matters um i used to think you had to put it this way because maybe those heating elements on this side did, but they come on so it's going to toast the front and the back at the same. So you can actually put it in like this or like that. And then you're going to press it down. You got to come over and hit the bagel button. And I've got this on three. And we'll see how dark it comes out. Okay, so this just popped up. I can sort of grab it, but if I couldn't grab it, I could always just, just by lifting that little lever, brings it up a little bit higher. And that, to me, is perfect toast both sides it just did a really good job okay so say your uh, butter doesn't melt or you, you wait too long and your bread cools off I have seen my kids put the butter on and then they'll throw it in now, I don't recommend it 
but they have done it and it does work and then you to put it on the warm setting or toast it just for a little bit and then it does melt the butter so you can do it i don't recommend it but they've done it a bunch okay so the bagel just popped up now with bagels they're really hard to grab and that's where this lever really comes into play so lift it up and then you can just more there to grab so on the three setting the bagels are pretty nice evenly toasted but like i said it does toast both sides i was under the wrong impression i thought it only toasted the inside but it heats both sides um looks like it did a pretty good job toasting it so it, it makes some real i buttered these bagels put some cream cheese on them these are lenders bagels the kind that you keep in the refrigerator so i i keep these in the refrigerator i took them out of the refrigerator put them in on the setting three and it's absolutely perfect and on a side note the last thing so you get a lot of crumbs that go down in there these things do have crumb trays and you only need to empty that maybe once once a year so other than that you just want to wipe the appliance down you don't want to get any water anywhere near in the inside and make sure it's unplugged so again this is just a dad which this was a video on how to use a toaster if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching